Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am both honored and grateful to be here in this glorious country, my second home. Women-led approach to the SDGs. Women, since the beginning, has had what some of us call intuition, that small voice within, a sixth sense. When a mother wakes up in the middle of the night and checks on her baby and find the baby's diaper is soaking wet and she has turned onto her stomach in the crib, we call that mother's intuition. This, my friend, is a universal mind power that we all have within us. As women, we have already been assigned roles, and some of them have been designed by nature, such as the obvious, giving birth and becoming mothers, and others have been dictated by society, uh, such as the homemaker, the caregiver, the introvert. We do all these things quite well, and we've done all these things quite well. However, we have a much bigger role in the overall plan in this world. One of the main role is to be what we are innately are, ultimately teachers. We women innately have the ability to connect and reconnect with the power that is within us all. This connection is the key to unlocking the universal mind power of doing, creating, manifesting, and we can achieve anything and everything by acknowledging this power, embracing this power, listening to this power, and nurturing this power. We only have to step out of our comfort zone, practice daily mindfulness that is needed to connect with the universal mind power, and be absolute with our thoughts of all we want to achieve positively and productively, and it will be manifest into just that. I am out of my comfort zone right now. I had accepted the roles that were given to me, but there was a longing in me that I wanted to know the unknown roles. Because when you step out of your comfort zone, it can be a little scary, but when you are connected to the universal mind power, scary feelings becomes an illusion. The unknown are possibilities waiting to be manifested. I know that there are no limits on me and that I myself, that I myself do not impose. This has already been achieved. Uh, this has already has become evidence in our lives. The doing and thoughts that have changed the world by women for the better. Joan Dark had vision. Rosa Park, courage. Mother Teresa, compassion. Zahad Hadid, vision. Harriet Tutman, insight to change things. Helen Keller, determination. Florence Nightingale, step into a role ordinarily reserved for men. Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Vong, Mary Johnson, whose calculations were essential to the pivotal success of Apollo 11 and many others. Malayla Yousaf, courage and a fierce thirst for knowledge. These are all women leaders, were and are. Your very own First Lady here in Rwanda, Jeanette Kagame, has vigorously implemented plans to improve the lives of people living with AIDS. Her foundation in Bhutto focuses on education, health, youth, and economic empowerment. All the other women here in Parliament in Rwanda who has helped make the fastest economical growth in Rwanda in a country in our lifetime. So I am convinced that all 17 SDGs can be attained and women will play an essential role in, each, in achieving these goals. And what we women must do and continue to do is teach. We must be still, acknowledge our own inner power, know our inner power, 
trust in our own inner power, embrace that inner power, own that inner power, and be absolute and positive in our thoughts. We must teach with mindfulness our children, our neighbors, and the men who have not yet connected to the universal mind power. But there are a number of men here today who are connected and we greatly appreciate it. So I will just close by saying, keep your heart filled with love and your mind clean. And we women have already arrived for our role to help achieve the 17 SDGs. Thank you.